All right, we're in the last round here. Unfortunately, I think this is a bit too awkward to keep. Scholar, though, <laughs> we have the white source for it. I don't know. This hand's uh, pretty sketchy. I think let's let's try and do a little bit better. I want my main white or main mana source. All right. Can't stop mulliganing the scholar hands, huh? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna keep this. This is pretty bad though. Yeah, I guess we could have kept our opener, but that was pretty bad too. Uh at least our opponent mulliganed, I guess. Well there's our white source. Yeah, I was not thinking that uh one planes and one scholar was gonna come up so much. Well, maybe Spark Jolt and Scouring Sands. Potentially good in this match. All right. Well, this is about as awkward as a mana base can get, <laughs> considering our hand. Can't seem to find one of our ten black sources. Wow, that draw was bad. All right, Whip of Erebus is going to be an issue. Ah, there it is. Not a moment too late. <laughs> uh, what do we dig up? Is it even worth reads the boning here? What What the hell am I digging for now that I've got my black source on turn six or five or? Whatever the hell ridiculously way too late turn it is. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I guess I'm... Okay, I'm on the hunt for a Bolt of Karanos. Cutthroat Maneuver. To be honest, I'll probably need it. But... Well, let's keep them both, I guess. Then at least I can do a Flesh Mad Steed into Ashiok's Adept. And then if I'm still alive, I can do a cutthroat maneuver. Yeah, that doesn't help me too much. Okay, so four, five, six, seven. I could take seven here. Then I die next turn. So I guess we 
block with the Adept so we can get more life gain later. Even though we can Heroic to gain... I don't know. You get what I'm talking about. I'm in trouble, I guess is what I'm trying to say. In so many words. War caller. Wish that was better here. I uh, guess I'm a land away from the faded return. So we sip this and then stay back to chump lock when he whips it? Man, that sounds terrible. Plus he turns off our faded return with the whip of Erebus. This is like the worst possible situation it could have gone for us this game. Drew a bunch of crap that we couldn't play and then our late game card that we have we can't even use because whip. Jeez. Yeah, that's pretty awkward. Let me think about this. Any logical way to get out of this situation. Maybe we do the Kragma War Caller. Um, might seem really awkward. Well, because it is. But I guess I'm going to chump block the Flood Tide Serpent. Um, and then if we draw a uh, one of our two Death Bellow Raiders... We can play that plus Cutthroat Maneuver and gain 10 life. Yep, that's pretty good value. No doubt about it. Sounds like draw a million cards. Alright, so pretty much need a Death Bellow Raider, plus then we cut throat and we gain 10, and we're still in bad shape. Yeah, at least we can attack into that. Death Bellow, nope, just the land. Hmm, so certainly dead next turn, and yeah, certainly dead next turn, that's about it. Guess we could asphyxiate plus cutthroat maneuver. Still has lethal. We are a dead. Alright, we're dead. I accept unhappily. It's not even worth showing him. <clears throat> yep, you got us pretty good there. Alright, so that was a horrible beatdown. Let's see if our mediocre deck can draw a little bit better. Alright, so black blue. What's good against black blue? I've got no means of getting rid of his artifact or enchantment, do I? Spark Jolt and Scouring Sands. He's just got the Vaporkin and then a Shipwreck Singer. What was the other stupid creature we saw out of him? That I just saw a second ago and now I can't remember. Flood Tide Serpent. And, alright, well actually Scouring Sands and Spark Jolt seem pretty terrible. All of his guys besides the Vapor can have more than one toughness. Um, I have no means to get rid of a artifact, really. Couldn't even pick up a Wild Celebrance. Well, Faded Return's gone. We'll get rid of that. I guess we'll do... I guess we can do an additional removal spell just in case. 
Scouring Sands at least kills Vaporkin. Maybe he's got more than one X1. Who the hell knows? We'll see. All right, we'll play first. And a bit awkward, but we've got our mana sources, so we'll give it a go. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Marauders. Yeah, I'm not going to asphyxiate that. Awkward! I can't asphyxiate it anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about. Looks like an awkward draw game, huh? You know your deck's good when you don't do something until turn 5. You know you're running a real winning strategy there. I don't know. That turn 5 Grey Merchant on an empty board. That's a little too good, I think. I think my opponent should just concede now. I mean, turn 5 Grey Merchant after 5 turns of doing nothing? That's, that's pretty powerful. It's a little bit too good, I think. Alright. Uh, can't really asphyxiate or Bolt of Karanos that, so that seems pretty devastating. Uh, I'm taking a bunch of damage, not doing anything. Seems pretty bad for us, seems pretty bleak. Hey, that guy does something. Let's see. Um, do I just do the Grey Merchant now? Or do I hope to find another black thing and do it later? Ah, it's probably not going to work out. Let's just do the Grey Merchant. Ah, Whip of Erebus. Yeah, that's, that's pretty convenient for you right there, huh? All right, take a bunch of damage, rapidly lose. Let's see if we can find some way out of this. More plays, that's beautiful. All right. Yes. All right, I guess we'll Bolt of Karanos the... Vaporkin. Uh, might as well leave it on top. We've got the Death Bell Raider. Seems like that could do something. Well, in that case, I should asphyxiate the Vortex Elemental. Because then... He can leave this back and leave up the blue source, and then I wouldn't have the mana to do War Caller as well as the Death Bell Raider, whereas right now I can. So, okay. I convinced myself. Believe me, I, I think this actually makes sense. So, definitely dead next turn, and game over, folks. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Uh, mediocre deck did not too shabby, believe it or not, so I'm amazed enough with that. Somehow we made it to the finals with this absolutely craptastic build of ours, and uh, I went 1-2 with these fantastic decks I had the last two drafts, so 
I don't even know what that tells me. It tells me drafting doesn't make much sense, I guess. <laughs> sometimes you just draft a really mediocre deck and make it to the finals, and sometimes you draft a completely just bomb, bomb deck and go one and two. So I don't understand. A lot of luck in this game, folks. All right. I'll see you next uh, Swiss draft.